Guys, I just bent down as soon as I walked up. Like a fish home. You hook up? Yeah. There we go. Hop and hoe. We have Justin and Woody. What's happening? I have waves. Oh. It's a lighter rod, so waves affected more. Have caught a few already? I'm up to four pompano now. They've had a few hits, but I haven't had anything to nut. So. Sweet. It's been slow, <laughs> but they're there. But they're just out a little bit deeper right now, but that tide's incoming. Yeah. What's happening, man? Nothing. Pompano McGee over here. <laughs> pompano McGee. What you got, Justin? Live sand fleet. Get us some more pompano. Well, I have sand flea and a little bit of uh, sand flea fish bite on the hook. There you go. Put so sand you... flea on one, some frozen shrimp on the other, just have a variety of baits out there. And you just put a little chunk of fish bites on there? Yep. What flavor is that? Uh, that's the sand flea. It's uh, sand flea strips. Easy there, there you go. Fish on! The one I just put out there too. What's he got? The uh, fresh sand flea? Uh, this had sand flea and shrimp on it, so let's see what hook he's on whenever he gets in and see which one he hit. Ah! Uh, came off. Popped off? Don't know if the hook Bye. pulled. Popped off. But, don't know which one he was on. Both baits are gone. What so. size hook is that? That's Justin? a one-aught circle. That's what I use on all my surf fishing rigs. Just a double dropper rig. So, had great success with that. Nice. Fish on. Look here, look here, look here. Nope. It sure did. It's just the waves? I don't know. Yeah, that's waves. Yeah? Oh, that sucks. Right there. That sucks, man. Oh, that was a big one. That was a chunky pompano. That was a nice one. Oh, well. I got him on film. <laughs> There's the proof. <laughs> these are all right. Um, the two that I have out on these two rods are my last two. I've got some more on order. Some new ones I found here recently. Some Why company. Do you like those? Um, yeah. those that I'm using on the two rods there, it's similar in design, but the weight is above the anchor, so they hold a lot better. Exactly. That's uh, these are called Sputniks. Um, that's a six ounce there. It's got little wires, so if it gets stuck down in the sand or whatever, these arms break free to where it takes less resistance whenever you pull it in but uh most tackle shops around here carry these uh, got some new ones that are a little bit different design company based out of new orleans called seabrook fishing um and they're about half the price of these two these run about six dollars each six dollars they're, they're expensive about six dollars each for these at the tackle shop while the seabrook fishing ones are about three three fifty a piece so nice. I don't know what Justin's doing, but whatever he's doing is working. Yeah. Still on? Uh, I think he is. I think he's running with weight. Yeah. Did you just put that one out? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Fresh bait. Oh, yeah. That's 
that one. That's a nice one. Yeah, that's nice. What's the size limit on Pompano? Size limit is a uh, 11 inch fork length minimum. He'll make uh, it. No maximum size. Yeah, he's definitely legal. Probably about a pound and a half, pound and three quarter fish. Nice. That is some serious good eating, man. We ate some last night. Nice. Oh, David's got one. What you got, man? Tiger shark? Yeah, right. Papano! Is it really? Yeah, for real. Alright. Oh, Chunky one. Man, that's some good eating. Yeah, I'm about to figure it out. We ate them last night. This like is good. Yeah. It's a white, firm, firm meat. How'd y'all cook it? Coconut oil and stuff. That's it? That's it. Lime, lime, some spices. Might do it for lunch. There you go. So, you're at 13. Like I said, 13, 14. There you go. Legal, legal. I put them in live bait. Live well. Live well, sorry. <laughs> so, Justin, tell everybody how we're doing this. PVCs, cart, rod, size. What are we doing here? So, just using a beach cart, get out here. Um, use all... You can buy pre-made sand spikes and stuff at uh, tackle shops, but I use a 10 foot piece of four inch schedule 40 PVC because I also do some shark fishing here and there. So heavier duty and hammer them deep down the sand. How deep? Um, probably a foot and a half or so. Um, then they still sit up high enough, rods high enough to where the waves don't affect it as much. Right, how length and stuff? Uh, I have various lengths because uh, my biggest one's right there which is 12 foot. And then uh, my shortest one's eight because I cast at different distances trying to find different spots where the pompano might be. Sometimes, like today, they're out deeper. So I'm using my longer rods to get further out there, but still have a couple of rods in short. What's uh, your favorite bait? Frozen shrimp. Frozen fresh shrimp kind uh, from a bait shop that they skin the live ones off the, the live bait tank the and freeze dead. them. So they're fresh dead. They pop yeah. them in the freezer, and those have been the best bait I've been using. You feel them? Uh, peel them. Uh, rougher days, I'll leave just like a little bit of peel up towards the head of the shrimp. I'll take the head off, but the like last little cups, uh, strips of shell before the head, I'll leave those on there just where the shrimp will stay on the hook better and rougher surf. All right, let's get back after it. Pompano on the beach, Navarre, Florida. Almost Navarre. I guess we're in Navarre. Yeah, it's Navarre. We're in Navarre. <laughs> Teresa's working hard to make this episode happen. I am. Working hard? I'm, I'm putting in a lot of work on this one. A lot of work. That's right, get back at it. <laughs> it's on. It's on. Say he's on. David's number two, Papano. Woo! I can boot shake it. <laughs> Come right back at me. Coming back at you? Yeah, fast. Look at that, he's up there. Oh, he's still there. He's still there. There he is. Another good one. Hey, the field shrimp. Fish bike. That's it. And uh, Justin's secret little lotion he's got. It's a chunky one. Yeah. That will eat. You're gonna get that limit real quick, ain't you? <laughs> right. Gotta outfish Justin, what do you think? <laughs> Imagine catching a six pounder, you said? Four or uh, five pounder? Yeah, like, well, my personal best is four pounds, four ounces. Well, I got the old, uh, I got, I stole Teresa's Black Wiggins inshore. I got the pier jig and I tipped it with 
uh, fish bites in orange. That's the sand flea. And the reason it's sand flea, besides probably some flavor, is that orange emulates the the roe, the eggs, and a big old fat sand flea. So you get a pop of orange. That's why they put them on. If they're using shrimp, they put a little pop of that orange on there to emulate that big fat sand flea full of eggs. Pop will love it. Fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on. <laughs> Just put this sucker out, boy. Fresh bait. Does it every time. It makes Susan. a difference. That bait sometimes it sits out there in that salt water, it almost brines. So if you go out there and put a fresh piece of bait on, Got you almost stink. get an immediate bite. Yeah. Limit out, Justin? That's the limit. Thanks for popping out in the cooler. Dang it! Fish on? Fish on. Look at mermaid. <laughs> Hard head. Hard headed catfish. Man. I call that a Cajun Pompano. Did you get some pictures, Salt Girl? I did. Let's put up one of Teresa's pictures right now. Making me a Pompano rig or a chicken rig. However, you want to work a snapper rig. No. Uh, surgeon's loop at the end? Yep, 20 pound uh, bull bust of fluorocarbon. How about, long? About three, three and a half chest width. Okay. Come up from the bottom about 10, 12, 15 inches. Pretty much just make you a loop. Uh -huh. Tie you a double knot. Uh huh. One, two. And then uh -huh. pull it through. Then what? Pull it tight. So there's your, your weight, your bottom hook. Come up another 12 inches, do uh -huh. the same thing. Double loop. That's how I make my snappers, rigs, chicken rig, whatever you want to call it. Real tight. And there you go. That's it. You know, I had actually had one step What's to that? make sure it doesn't slip. There you do. I take this uh -huh. and I go around the main line one more time. Oh, on the top. Gotcha. Yeah. Locks it in. Around the main line, mm -hmm. come back through on the top. Yep, that's it. Oh, I made that up when I was a little kid. Nice, it's faster than the double dropper loop. Yeah, that's Chester taught me that one. I was lost in the saw, so I'm not gonna lie. It just make sure it doesn't slip. There you go, that's it. About Good. a three to four ounce weight. Then you can do a double uni or a swivel up top. I like to use a swivel because here it's gonna be a lot of twisting and moving around, right? Justin likes using those uh, spider weights. I think they're called mm -hmm. but a pyramid way just works just good i like the pyramids you just loop them in yeah that's it. take them off same thing with your, uh, your deep dropping for snapping right so david's got a kayak fishing club what's it called david american yakers baby what we do we help vets take them out fishing to help them with ptsd and tbis and stuff like that and just get them out there fishing a little bit of salt water therapy uh justin's one of our team members here we just take group people out anytime they want for free show them how to fish a little bit and let them de-stress and just talk about things going overseas. Where can they find you? Uh, Facebook, Instagram, American Yakers. You heard of American Yakers. Look it up. Love it. Live it.
like to send a special thank you out to all of our Patreon supporters. Thank you! For unique and exclusive content, head on over to Patreon and become a 30 Mile Out patron. What? Thank you.